Hey, what's up guys? It's been a while since I uh, posted a video, but here we are today. So today I'm gonna to be going through the new Bogren Digital Amp Knob Ampson. And uh, yeah, even though I haven't been making videos for a little bit anyway, cause I've been so crazy busy with uh, my everyday life and job, we're here right now. And I have been active at least in, in uh, purchasing the new Ampsons that have been coming out which I plan on doing videos on shortly. So this is a multi-track of a song called Scarlet from Periphery, which I'm not gonna go ahead and play through the whole song. I'm just gonna let you hear how, you know, various instruments within the mix sound, right? So I don't wanna waste too much of your time. So as you can see in pink right here, those are my drum stems. So these are real drums that have been recorded. And yes, they do, bleed a lot as well which i particularly don't like too much but that's what i have to work with so what i did is i actually applied eq you know low pass high pass filtering and i added some compression to parts like the kick and the snares right so i'll show you what's going on in there and let you hear the drums but before that for my master track i'm running this amic eq from plugin alliance which is an excellent eq for mastering these are my settings, as you can see, even though there's a lot of stuff here to see. But nonetheless, this is how I have it set up for this mix, right? Then I'm going into this SSL Native X EQ to further shape in the tone a little bit. Not much going on, though. Just a little bit of a shelf there, you know, to just give it a little bit of air, if you will. Then I'm going into this SSL uh, bus compressor just to glue everything up. About three, three to one compression ratio and about i don't know negative four db of compression or so not too much then i'm going into this ssl saturator just to give it a little bit of dirt if you will just very little as you can see right here on my dry wet mix i have about 36 percent blended in not much at all then moving on to this ssl stereo imaging plugin which i really like a lot and finally, for my master chain, I'm running into this uh, True Peak Limiter from Brainworks, which is an excellent limiter. Even though there's a ton of other limiters out there, yes, like the uh, Pro Owl and other free ones even. This one is pretty nice, all right? And then, as you guys know, I do like using Uline Loudness Meter just to see where I'm at, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not outside of any boundaries, per se, all right? That's that. So again, these drums are all stems. And that, again, each one is, has EQ. The, the kick, I'm using this EQ again. And a little bit of compression on there. For the snares, I'm using uh, Pro Tools 3 EQ. For high pass, low pass. Some, uh, you know, boosts at certain frequencies. You know, your uh, bus compressor. Same thing with the snare bottom, you know, with the EQ and the compressor, as you see. And then everything else pretty much has a high pass, low passing on it, and a little bit of cut, boost, whatever, you know, for the various parts. So that's how all, pretty much all these drum parts are. This one particularly has a shelf on it. But you get the idea, Every every piece of a drum kit is low pass and high pass with some boosts and some cuts, all right? And some have uh, compressors acting as parallel compression, all right? So for my bass, I'm running two bass tracks, which are the same. They're DI tracks. This one right here is running per, uh, Neural DSP, Parallax Arc Reactor Preset, which I really like using in my mixes. And then it's blended with Aurora DSP Mammoth, all right? That's being fed into this bass bus right here, where I'm applying high pass and low pass filtering, a little bit of a bump at about a thousand hertz, multi band compression with this low pass low band shelf. Sorry about that. Pro all two limiter, and then I'm running this Purple Audio MC seventy seven eleven seventy six style compressor, just to add a little bit more bottom end punch to the bass. All right. For the guitars, there's two sets of guitars. 
pretty much the same chains. I think I m messed around maybe a little bit with the EQ, but maybe not. So I'm running the EQ before the amp sim, high passing and low passing. So here we go. Here's the amp knob by Bulger and Digital. So a lot of people like it. So a lot of people don't like it, right? Because people are like, well, where are all the knobs? Because it's 40 euro introductory price, 50 euro, you know, normal price. Is it a little bit pricey? Yes and no. Yes, it's a little bit pricey because this is what you get, plus this right here. You have your noise gate and your uh, choice of mono or stereo, right? And that's And that's it. There's no, like, there's no option to, like, load your own IR, even though a gentleman by the name of Jason Sedora, he has this IR that he made that actually null and voids this, so you can use your own IR. But, um, yeah, go check him out. I'll, I'll leave a link to his information as well. As well as a link, you know, to this amp sim as well. So yeah, this guy's one knob. Right here is probably like the sweet spot, you know, where he, where he uh, chose to put it. And pretty much this is uh, replicating a Mesa Boogie Dual Rock Rev C tread plate amp. But it's not just the amp, it's a whole chain that's recorded, right? And so they say it's mix ready. And the most sense it is, right? I added EQ just to tailor it to how I like it, but you really don't even need to. I mean, it sounds great just as is. So pretty much you can just plug in your guitar into your interface, dial in whatever game you like to play, and that's it, right? You go from no gain, like a cleanish tone, then you start breaking, you start getting a broken clean tone, crunchy, and then gain, right? High gain, and then stupid gain, right? Which I never use. So it's very easy to use. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say it's for lazy people. You know, it's it's for everybody. You know what I mean? Everybody likes to have a good tone quick. Because I know myself, I hate spending a lot of time tweaking in, you know, to get a good tone. So this works out well. And maybe it'll come out with different amp stems like this as well. There's nothing wrong with this. It just gets you there really quick. If you like this particular tone. Some people hate it, right? I like it. But anyway... Then I go into another Pro Q3 EQ, where I did notch out at about 500 hertz a little bit, and I am running it dynamically because I don't want to lose all the frequency in this area, right? And then going into this uh, Puig Tech by Softube. So I really love using Puig, um, Pull Tech EQs on guitars. I really like what it does to the low end. It really adds a little bit of um, nice warmth character to it. It makes it sound a little bit fuller in a sense as well. So that's it guys so this chain's going to be identical for these guitars right here it's same thing right and then lastly i have a clean guitar as well right again i'm running pro q3 eq pre eq i always do this for any amp sim because i don't want all those frequencies bombarding the amp all right i want a nice signal going into the amp so i high pass and low pass before the amp this time i'm running this um neuro dsp plini amp which I really like a lot for clean tones, even though there's a ton of great amps out there for clean tones, which I do have, but I usually gravitate to this for whatever reason for my clean tones. I really like it, All right? So what's going on in here, just a little bit of compressor. Here's the, you know, the amp settings. You know, EQ. The, uh, come on. All right, it doesn't want to, here we go. Here's the cab section. It's running on 160 on this side and also on this side. All right. And a little bit of delay, a little bit of reverb. But it's a nice clean tone. I really like it. And then going into this EQ after the amp. So enough of all this, what's going on in all these tracks. I'll let you hear what's going on, you know, in each section of this mix. All right. So let's hear a little bit of drums first. I think they sound pretty decent. 
and again i'm not an expert in like mixing drums to tell you the truth i really don't like mixing drums like this i like using midi drums like you know superior drummer three or or something similar to that mix wave or something perfect drums you know something like that but again this is what i had for this mix so that's what i used going on to the uh bass guitars so i'm going to solo these bass guitars and then i'm going to let you hear how the parallax sounds alone and how the man sounds alone all right There you go. So that's how the bass sounds, you know, blended with the Neural DSP, Parallax, and the Mammoth together. I really like that. Let's go on to the uh, first set of guitars. And then I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll start playing the first set of guitars. And then I'll turn on the second set of guitars as well. All right? <laughs> So that's how that sounds. So uh, what about the clean guitar? Let's hear let's hear that real quick. Right. So yeah, that um, clean guitar has a pretty wicked tail on it, right? So let me, I don't know, let me just grab a section right here. Let you hear like a full mix, about, you know, except for the clean guitar, obviously, because it's down here, right? So here's full mix. So that's it guys that's what i uh put together in this session you know showing off how the bolgren amp knob can be used in the full mix if you like that just plug it in your guitar and playing so if you like what you watch on my videos please give me a like share my video maybe more importantly if you're new to the channel please subscribe it really helps me out a lot and uh, for all the people that have been subscribed, thank you again for uh, watching my videos, supporting my channel. Till next time, and, and hopefully uh, I do another video, you know, soon. You guys, more importantly, yeah, music is great. Metal is awesome. But more importantly, take care of yourselves. Till next time, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.